I didn't know that. I'll show you a picture after. I, ju yeah. I, just, I just know about your hairy feet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cynthia. Hi, I'm Morvet. Hi, I'm Nazanin. Hi, I'm Charlie. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm Benjamin. Hi, I'm Maxim. I'm Tyro. I'm Mark Heller. I'm Megan. I'm Emma. And we're the cast of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. And, and this, this is Elle's Ask Me Anything. anything. <laughs>
It's my one little diva moment. <laughs> diva, yeah. yeah. <laughs> flavoured milk. Little prima donna, give me yeah. my flavoured milk. Yeah. Every day without fail. One day I had a really good day on set and I just had an up and go walking on and I was like, nah, I'm doing it every time. And then it literally got Without to, fail, every day. Every day. And then the, like it was, I remember one day I was having a terrible day. I talked to Sally and I was like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, you didn't have your up and go today. What? And I was like, and then from there I made it's sure. So yeah, I'm like, put it in my schedule. It has to, I have <laughs> to have it. I have a corset. <laughs> And I'm not complaining about the corset because, you know, society made women wear corsets. It's the kind of wardrobe that when you put on, it's like, oh, I'm a different person now. I think that's universally true, probably for all of us, that the, the, the collaboration between whether it be wardrobe or, or voice and, uh, and speech, and uh, we had movement coaches that we had so much support, that it was difficult to not be ready to work when it was time. Me? I'm excited about episode six. Ah, there we go. Yeah. I keep hearing episode seven. Okay. And the people who have seen the whole show, which is not us, uh, <laughs> I hear a That's lot. Like six, yeah. six and seven. Are the six ones. and seven, yeah. I hear yeah. um, a lot of exciting Buzz. things. Six and seven. Six, six, or, yeah. six and seven for me as well. Six yeah. and seven. Yeah. They're like a combined, they're yeah. like, yeah. It's big just, stuff, big, big. Like all the yeah. time, high energy. Like, Bombs are dropping. You're getting pulled yeah. to this side, to this side, and yeah. oh, it's a it's a journey. Coaster. It's yeah. a it's a, I mean, emotional. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think yeah. you're gonna be riveted. I think what's great is that each episode does a great job of, you know, ramping up, and then there's like that sort of cliffhanger. Like, I mean, of the ones that we've seen, <laughs> you definitely want to know sort of what what's gonna happen next, and as the season progresses there's just this incredible ramp up of just, yeah, all the worlds, different characters' arcs. So, you know, toward the end of the season, yeah, I'm, I'm like dying to know. And then of course the, the finale, I, I'm very curious. Season one is a warm up. Like it's, I think that it's just gonna get better and better and better. And like the little that we know about season two is like, oh, okay, y'all aren't playing around. Oh, we can't. Oh, I've already said one before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, she's just, just, like, just like, like, lose my job. <laughs> like, no. What did I have, you say? I you have, took your sword, didn't you? No, I wish I did, yeah. actually. No, I've got an elf here. Nice. I got what? given it as a little gift. How did you get given it as a gift? We were in the van on the way like back to back to unit. And then, oh, just rip, sorry. He just rips his ear and off. And goes, yeah. here you go, mate. And then and you, it away. And did you put it in a, in a glass jar? Pickle, I actually have pickled no idea. it with some onion? I actually like, have no idea where it is now. I think my mum has, has it. I think mum has it. I think it's in her like maybe a little jewelry box. I don't know. New Zealand is a really hugely spiritual place. There's something in the air particles, I'm sure, that it just fills you with a really powerful energy that exudes kindness and friendship and love and safety and nature. And so I kind of miss being surrounded by that bubble of. Purity. Even before the pandemic, we were greeted by the Māori members of a crew mm. to like welcome us and say that we had permission to kind of work on the land. There was a real sense of like gratitude to be welcomed. You don't actually notice them at all. Well, I had half ones. Did you have whole ones? I had whole ones, yeah. So mine would only come there. The only time I did feel one of them was, um, there was one point where I was doing lots of the swimming stuff where I came out and I could definitely feel it because it, one of them had filled with water. So it was just kind of like... <laughs> I can feel <laughs> the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> kind of saggy. But otherwise, no, you're not, you're not aware of it. You could easily just walk home in them, but people make sure that yeah. you don't. No. <laughs> We had ears. We had ears. We had yeah. half foot ears. Did you have ears? Yeah. What's a half we foot did. ear? Yeah, you guys had like full on. I didn't know that. I didn't know half feet have special ears. Half, half foot. Foot. Half foot. <laughs> Half feet. Thank you. Not, wait, <laughs> ha, no half feet. Is that no, not plural? Of, half oh, half is that a, is that a thing? Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. I'll show you a picture after. I, ju oh, I yeah. just I just know about your hairy feet. Holy oh, feet! Oh, they, <laughs> they do. They I've do seen do this. <laughs> <laughs> Was it easy to walk? I never took them off. I loved them. Yeah, it became part of. Well, it's part of the character. Have you taken them off now? No, actually, that's why the camera's not going now. I hadn't prepared myself that it would feel like opening night of like a play because mm. the crew was so big that there was a sense of an audience. Yeah. It was terrifying because 
you were seeing all these people that had also like worked for months to get to the point where you were actually stepping on set. So there was a responsibility to kind of like, mm. it was your, ch your time to yeah. deliver. But also amazing because you were in a constant state of like, feeling like you were a child being taken to some sort of, sort of like magical castle because mm. the sets were so beautiful. Maxim and I shot on a private beach and Maxim was in and out of make hair and makeup like so fast. And then when I arrived, he was like, sitting in a fold-up <laughs> chair, like watching the sunrise <gasps> on the ocean. Wow. But yeah, it was a very emotional day, because I think we, we were yeah. waiting for this day for so long, and it finally came. It was this yeah. special kind of dreamlike state. We were in the most amazing location on a beach with no one around, and yeah. Taking wow. in the rays. I got there in December 2019. There was all this prep, dialect, movement, stunts, lots and lots of training, rehearsals, and literally the night before we was we were supposed to start filming, we got locked down because of the pandemic. And a bunch of people had already started filming, so we had to stop, and they also had to stop. And my first actual day on set, I just felt a complete sense of gratitude of I'm finally here, I finally get to do this. My first day on set, I was actually on weather cover. And it was an ex <laughs> it was, <laughs> and it was a, it was an extremely sunny day, so I wasn't um, needed. So I just kind of sat in my trailer playing Nintendo Switch Mario Kart. But when I was on set, it was uh, my first day. I remember my first ever shot. It was a shot of me walking out a door, and the camera was behind me. And I remember I finished the shot, and I was like, "Wow, my first shot of Lord of the Rings done!" Like, wow. And then JA comes up to me, and he goes, "You looked right at the camera." I was like, it was behind me. How did I even do that? I don't even. I still to this day don't know how I did it. My first time going on the Harfoot set, a wonderful background artist were in the middle of doing like a like a sequence that you'll see. So I got to walk in. It was like we were filming on this farm, someone's farm, and it had like a wood in it. And then I just walked, and they were doing this sequence. So I got to see like an alive set. It was really amazing, wow. and it was like so immersive. And I wasn't even in like my mm. hair and makeup or costume or anything. I was just like having a look. Mm. But everyone else was like fully dressed. It was like almost a camera rehearsal. But for me, I was like, okay, here we go. I feel like I've said this multiple times, just because again, I, I sort of joined a little bit later. So in a way, the the production, the crew, the cast, there was a bit of a rhythm going, and so it was sort of like new kid at school type of feeling. But it was for us as well, we were like, Numenor's are right. Yeah, no, that was such an Yeah, it was amazing to enter, and like, people had been waiting for, for our part of the world, um, you know, our yeah. group to arrive. So my first day was ac actually being helicoptered to the, the top of the mountain, and I'd never ridden in a helicopter before. So <laughs> there was both the nervousness of, oh my gosh, it's my first day, it's my first day speaking as this person, being in the costume of this person, <laughs> and I have to ride this helicopter, and I think I'm gonna throw up in the helicopter, embarrass myself, shame myself, you know, in front of these people. You know, I just remember saying my first line on the mountaintop, looking, you know, at the expanse of South Island in New Zealand, and it was like, this is, this is happening, and so it begins. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to watch The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power on Prime Video.